Hello, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, I'm going to discuss you with uh, union and union all. What is union? Why we require to use union operator in a scale statement? It's very simple and it's very important. Whenever we've written like a SQL query statements by getting the like a, by fetching the data result set by using either conditions and satisfying and we are may require different different conditions we have written where we are getting done as a result set at the time of by making multiple SQL statements we are going to execute it that is true whereas in our result set from the SQL we have to ultimately get it as in a one result set only. Then only the SQL developer, if he supplies one single result set as an output, where the programmer can invoke that result set query into the program and mapping the column wherever the require the data, he will use it. All what the developers should think about it ultimately. The SQL developer and SQL programmer who is writing SQL queries, standardizations and queries, he needs always to be think that the accurate data should be written as a result set. That's very important. And second thing, the unique data, there is a no more duplication of the data. It's a to be pumping as a result set to the application. And the third thing, it's very important that most probably to making either like a, the result set should be accurate, like a, the based on the requirement only that result set should be to be populated, the fetching the data and populating and preparing the statement like SQL query statements by using group by statement, where clauses and order by statements. And it may be the limitation of the queries. Like if it is in a huge data, it's a pumping to the client side, may give you an uh, utilization of the resources, is in a, all the resources may use and uh, consuming the data, transmitting the server resources as well as the client resources as well. May these are all the complex and uh, huge data we are pumping, keep on to the client. What it will do ultimately will show you the performance of your application degrades. So you have to think such a situation and making in a small chunks of the codes and the statements, making limitations of the data and applying different different clauses and conditions and filtering the data whenever the accurate data which is required, that data only we have to prepare and uh, always showing the performance of the server, SQL server, and ultimately the performance will lead you your web application performance. All right, now come to the point. What union will do here? What it will do means, like uh, you know, I have a prepared here in left join. Some result set I am preparing here, and I am getting as an output. Now, yes, sorry, here it is an left join and prepare. yes and here it is in a right join similarly whenever you are applying as in a keyword of a union operator you have to strongly remember that how many columns you are written in the first columns your statement those columns only implied and should be strictly followed in the second SQL statement also and one more thing is very important to know and understand about it. That is the column data types should be match. What to be do? The column data types to be match each and one. See here customer ID and the customer name and the order ID and the order how you are going to be written that to be followed. These are very basic things you have to remember whenever you are going to be preparing like a union operator while preparing the SQL statements, you won't get any single penny error also. 
by writing the SQL query statements. That's it. My query statements are, you know that our previous lectures also, you can cross check it. Once again, you, you verify how we have a prepared left join and how we, how we are going to be written as a right join. The purpose of left join and right join. See, these two statements are written here using the unioning and like a, the result set I'm making is in a common result set. Now the column names three, which are matching here, and the data types are so, so similar, then we'll get in a perfect result set. Now highlight the query result set here, and go over here and execute. We'll get common result set completely. Now here see, it's a similarly union when I am applied, it's nothing but full outer join. When I am using left join and outer join, like a right join, it's nothing but full outer join. We have a clearly explained in one session for this. Go through it, overview it, and let's see. This is how it is. All right. Hopefully, you got in a good idea about it. Uh, utilization and using union statement. And uh, yes, here it is in a query result set. It is there. For this, hopefully. You have a good idea to understand about the union usage in SQL query statements. Thanks for watching this session. Thank you.